I, I heard you talking about choline and I found it so interesting. I, I think you were on Dr. Oz talking about it. Right? I, I can't remember the, 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 the venue you were in, but, but it was something that I hadn't heard before. And you, you also said something I'll just mention. You, 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 you were talking to someone about how uh, doctors don't get a lot of education in nutrition. And as two doctors sitting here, yeah, 100%. And so, so we end up having to self-educate you know, after medical school, after sometimes after residency and fellowship, you know, and, and so, um, so it's really exciting when we run across uh, someone like you. And, and, and when you say things that we don't, that we hadn't heard about before, it's like, oh, I want to know more. So along those lines, um, choline, what is it and why is that important? Oh, gosh. Choline, uh, is, uh, I guess the most recent love of my life for about the last 10 years, it's what I've really focused in my research on. Um, choline is an essential nutrient. Um, that you probably haven't heard of, but you are probably not getting enough of. Um, we showed about 10 years ago uh, that 90% of Americans, including 92% of pregnant women, uh, don't get enough choline from the diet. Um, choline is uh, a nutrient that is found uh, predominantly uh, in egg yolks um, and animal derived foods, uh, seafood and, well, eggs and and secondarily, seafood uh, tend to drive uh, choline intakes in the U.S. Um, choline is involved in a, a number of different uh, uh, biological functions. Deficiency in choline results in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, um, so fat accumulation in the liver uh, that can begin to cause cirrhosis over time, uh, which is actually pretty prevalent uh, in the U.S. And you know, we're on the rise, right? Yeah, and with 90% of us not having enough choline, that could be, you know, one of the issues. Um, the other thing that choline is involved with is muscle function. And you see uh, individuals who, uh, particularly athletes who work out that um, uh, that aren't adequate in choline, they have more muscle breakdown. Uh, and you see that with aging as well. Uh, choline is also really important because it is, uh, the precursor to acetylcholine, which is an important neurotransmitter uh, in the body. Uh, actually, we're coming out with some research uh, in early 2024 that shows individuals that have higher choline intakes have a much lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease later in life. Um, there are over 50 rodent models uh, that show um, supplementation of choline early in life can prevent uh, dementia related conditions like Alzheimer's later in life. Um, we know that the first thousand days uh, is really important uh, when it comes to choline. Um, when women are pregnant, uh, estrogen levels increase by uh, uh, almost 60 times in some women. Um, and that's why they get so crazy during pregnancy, right? Um, but uh, estrogen drives uh, choline production in the body. So your body can produce small amounts of choline, but not em enough to meet the, uh, the requirements. So it is an essential nutrient in that you have to get it from the diet. However, pregnant women tend to produce lots more choline because it's so critical for the baby. Um, and then there are about 44% of women uh, that have uh, genetic mutations that uh, prevent them from uh, either producing enough or utilizing uh, the choline that they do produce in the body. Uh, so um, lots of genetic uh, mutations that are involved in whether choline gets shuttled to the liver or it gets turned into acetylcholine in the brain. Choline is also very important in cell membranes and how our cells communicate uh, with one another. So again, really important for cognition and cognitive development uh, in children. Uh, there's a study uh, from Cornell University is a very small clinical trial of uh, 20, uh, 20, 25 infants uh, where the mothers were supplemented, um, half were supplemented with um, the adequate intake or the recommended intake of choline. Um, and then the other half were supplemented with double uh, the recommended intake of choline. And at age one, three, and then now seven years uh, of age, those um, children have better cognition, uh, the ones that were on double the dose of choline versus just the recommended intake. 
Uh, so again, just recommendations are, you know, 25 plus years old, need to be reevaluated uh, by the National Academy of Medicine. Uh, some really neat stuff coming out there on, uh, on choline. And actually we're looking at choline um, and child development and cognition in um, Guatemala in malnourished populations to see if, you know, an egg a day can potentially uh, affect cognitive development in those kids that are uh, really at risk. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff in the That's pipeline, really exciting. choline coming. I feel like choline is going to be something we're going to be hearing a lot about um, in the future as well. Yeah, the pr issue with choline is it's like calcium. You can't just put it in a multivitamin because it's bulky, right? So it has to be its own yeah. pill. And I've actually very much advocated for all pregnant women to take um, a choline supplement um, because of its effects on um, brain development in young infants. If you enjoyed that segment and you'd like to watch another, click here. And if you'd like to watch the full episode, click here.